So, Embodied Coaching, uh, this is Embodied Coaching Session. My name is Mark Walsh, Embodied Facilitator Course. Uh, this is my current student, Daria. Daria is not my wife, Daria, another Daria, and she is on the Embodied Facilitator Course. Moscow, hello. Hey. Looking awesome today, and has come in for some coaching. I don't know much about what the coaching's on, so it's going to be freestyle. Daria, what are we doing this coaching on? What would you like to get from this coaching session? Classic mm -hmm. coaching question. Yeah. Uh, well, okay. Um my life has been changing right now and um, I've got lots of doubts and ideas about uh, what I'm going to do in my work uh, during the next year mm -hmm. uh, and as I'm a freelancer and I have some projects on voice, teaching and coaching also and everything, uh, right now I'm feeling a little bit like fuzzy about the year because I feel like lots of ideas and how can I get them grounded and okay. do I really want these things yeah, and, yeah, yeah. These and uh, yeah just so pause, pause, you know, I like to interrupt. So um, lots of ideas, lots of change, voice coaching, different things. And what you want is? I want to feel more balanced and I want to feel this balance point from which I'm going to make the decisions about each of these Direction. So you want to feel more balanced yes. about the decisions that you're making? Yeah. Okay, great. So what I'm already doing is embodied coaching. I'm using my embodiment to calm her and contain some of the, normally at the beginning of coaching, it's very typical, particularly more kind of airy kind of water types. Mm -hmm. People have lots of different ideas and, and it's like da, da 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 And to help them clarify the question means they're much more likely to answer that question for themselves. Yeah, you can say, well, I could have done a, like a centering here, like you've done centering with me before. We could go, okay, feet on the ground, take a breath, expand, relax, okay. So, Daria, what's the question for this coaching? What will help me to feel more balanced and to feel confident in what I'm doing and in the plans and... and less words, doing. less words. Give me that in half the words. Okay. So again, I'm using my embodiment. Mm -hmm. so this, this is great. We're in a good territory. I'm kind of getting the idea, but to make it even clearer... At this point, that will help me during the year. What, what will be, uh, say again, the whole mm -hmm. sentence? Balance point, mm -hmm. that would, the feeling of balance point. So what's the question? How to um, find it, how to feel it, how is it feel, how can I feel it? How, how can you feel the balance point? Let's do the whole sentence. Mm -hmm. I know. Yes. So, yeah, it's yeah, tricky because I know I know Daria's type is like airy and it's all over here. And we could have gone with that, right? We could have gone with the airiness. That's fine. That's another way to go. We can do that maybe next. What I'm, what I'm showing you here is a way to help someone land. Okay. And I, I could do, is it right if I touch your shoulders for a moment? Do you mind if I emotional? Yes, of yeah. course. So you can kind of do, I usually do this off to the side so it's not mm -hmm. quite so like it's in front. Yeah. Helping her feel her feet on the ground. If she was really tall, I could like get a chair. Again, I usually mm -hmm. would avoid front or back for this. Yeah, you feel your feet a little bit more. Yep, okay, that's better. So I'm helping her find that grounded quality. Yeah, and with your hands, do this. Mm -hmm. Make a box. Mm -hmm. uh, a little slower, <laughs> my airy friend. <laughs> I love your air, by the way. Normalize people's behavior. Make sure they don't feel judged by it. Air is beautiful. Okay, great. Beautiful. So what's the challenge in one sentence, a clear sentence? I want to feel the balance in what I'm doing and choosing. Okay, great. So how do we feel balance in what you're doing and choosing? Awesome. So we're used, we've used an embodied capacity to help her get a bit clearer, get a bit more structured. My intuition, I'm just feeling my own body at this point, was that might be helpful. Having known her a little bit as a student, I know she can do the air thing, which is beautiful, and we might come to that, but I wanted to see how it would be to go into the kind of earth thing, yeah? Okay, you want to just go crazy and do some air? 
Just, just for fun. Yeah, just for fun. Do like your most airy kind of uh, up in the air. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't like keep you in a box the whole session, right? Otherwise, she'll be exhausted. She doesn't like boxes. So even though it might have been helpful to her, it's kind of a pain in the ass for her, right? So yeah, exactly. Okay. So, um, you know, from this airy point of view, so now we've got a question. We can come up with lots of airy solutions. Okay, go. How, would you, how might you feel this? What was it? You could feel the balance. Uh, in what I'm doing and yeah. choosing. How do you feel balanced in what you're doing and choosing? Nice, earthy, clear question now. We can work with in a fucking airy way. That's no problem. <laughs> now we've got some clarity about the question. Uh, I can make more plans. Okay. And follow them. And yeah. it's something that will help yeah. me to follow yeah. the plans. Because I always have someone to help and always know somebody to, to, to make me clear with my plans and everything. Yeah. Oh, I'm inventing some earthy stuff, you know I hate it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> blah, blah, blah. No, we'll do this to my life. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. It's your it's life. Happening. It's your life. So you want that flow, that spontaneity, that creativity. Yeah, that's... Is that working for you? Maybe I just... Some, some other variant is to find a partner uh -huh. in my business uh -huh. who will keep the earthy part. Oh, I see. So yeah, what so I just helps you be, with? Yeah. Great. So like, I have like, I get it. Like, I, have a, I have like a German secretary that does that for me. Oh, I'd be like crazy with that. It's, it's so good. I uh, Yeah, it's <laughs> awesome. It's so awesome. Catch up. <laughs> okay. So uh, because I'm kind of airy too, right? I'm like more airy fire than airy water, but there's that going on. We're using four elements as a language. It's in lots of other videos, just as a shared language we have. So maybe you could partner with someone that could provide that, that earthiness. And, uh, uh, maybe I could blame myself less about being oh. so airy. Okay, yeah, because I have noticed there was some judgment in that. Mm -hmm. So if I was being really, let's, let's roll over, swap sides, swapping sides helps, physically helps. Um, so I'm like the airy person, because I can do that. I can be like, hey, I'm Mark, I've got all these ideas, I'm being really funny. Yeah, it's slightly less, it's got a different quality to yours. How would you like judge me if you were like super judgy? Let's, let's give her a chair to stand on. This can help someone feel superior. <laughs> If, if, it's, if it's safe, you've got flat shoes on, yeah? That's not very Moscow. Come on, I'll step on the chair if you're willing to. Are you happy to? Okay. You feel safe? Sorry. Okay, now ju judge me as like airy person. It's easier to judge from high. Uh, you're just, you're gonna blow this out. You're never gonna do everything correct and you're just saying you're doing I'm free. Yeah, but uh, next time you're gonna fall in love with something else and you won't finish your doing right now. Okay, step down from the chair. Uh -huh. Okay, now, now tell me what I really need to hear without the sort of nastiness, so like the sort of kind version of that. Like as a sort of airy person, what do I need to hear that would be kind without being, still be clear, still be like, you know, not holding back. Mm -hmm. So find the f earth again. Okay, uh, so if you really want to finish what you're planning, maybe you should find something that will help you and have stricter plans and to notice that part of you that uh, and notice that you're not finishing stuff and that noticing uh, notice that you're airy but uh, to empower this with my own. Okay, great. And she was able to step into an earth mode because she's had training with me to do this. Another client might need a lot more help. She was able to just step into it. Okay, choo, swap over again. Whoop okay, so this is role changing really helps, yeah? <laughs> Can both be airy. So um, we've sort of got into unusual territory here. We could be getting like, how would it be feel to be balanced? Or we could have gone into like intuitive reactions to her choices about work, or could have been centering around those choices. We could have gotten those, but we've sort of gone to air earth territory that felt like territory to play with. Um, key learnings from this. What are your key learnings from, from this so far? Oh, I can use what are the things I already have, with, if I use them without judging, if I use my power without judging it, I can really find something that will help. And I should do my centering. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, shoulds don't work, do they? You know that. So I better do. <laughs> that's not going to work. Okay. So I've gone from water, empathic listening, to now a little bit more fiery, like I'm nailing her down on some homework. Yeah? yeah. So I went from like this to like, I went from more open and like just being present to her insight and really 
drawing her insight with a more yin way in my body to now I've gone a bit like, okay, come on, Daria, you know I'm going to nail you down on this. <laughs> so what's, what's the homework? Um, to enjoy more centering practice. Okay, I like the enjoy, that's nice. How, how much more? When? Um, every day in the morning, just as I've been doing like three weeks a month ago, and that really helped. And it helped when you did it before, so you know it could help again. Okay, how are you going to remember? It's just like... Mm. Daily plan. Uh, somebody to do this as a buddy. Oh, like a buddy system, that's good. Yeah. Water people like that nice yeah, support, some, that's a great idea. very grounded, somebody very... Oh, so grounded. nice polarity. I already know people. Okay, great, you have some communities really helpful for embodied practice. And maybe something as simple as like, you know, a sticker on the mirror if she does it in, yeah. you know, Outlook thing. When are you going to do it in the day? Is there like a particular time of day? Uh -huh. More specific? Nine, ten o'clock. Great, which? Hmm? <laughs> Between nine and ten? Okay, uh, an hour after I wake, wake up. Okay, great. Better. So some time becomes no time, so you need to help people get specific. This is where the mm -hmm. earthy and the That's fieriness kind of comes in. Yeah, great. Okay, so good work. And also maybe look into that, like partnering with someone more earthy in your work, right? You talked about that. That could be a good thing. None of us can bring everything to the party. We just need to be good enough so we don't sabotage our strength. So there's nothing wrong with your air, just to reinforce that. It's just about bringing it into a bit of balance and maybe having employing someone or working with someone to help with that. Thank you Good job. so much. Boom! Okay. Good work. Okay, so we want to talk a little bit about the session. It was just a 10-minute session I did with Daria. Um, kind of went free form in that. She came with a coaching question. I thought, you know what, this question sounds very airy, very all over the place, which really happens a lot with clients if they're stressed or that's just their personality. We're using this four elements model. It's just a system of understanding embodiment. It's pretty commonsensical. It's what it sounds like. It's just a system. It's a map. It's not to say, you know, put her in a box. Um, and I just thought, you know what, let's get that clearer. So I really helped with my own embodiment, making that more earthy, gave her some limitations, but always reinforcing that she wasn't bad, like normalizing. This is just the way you know, saying I do it, which I do, totally authentic. Um, you know, just intuitively went into that a little bit of structure and then I realized it was getting uncomfortable for her. I could see in her own embodiment, it was like, eh, 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 eh. so I thought, you know what, we can't like keep her in a cage, you know, so we let it all out and went, made it free and let her express herself. And, you know, for the ideas generation, the air side that she's good at really helped. Uh, she's quite watery as well. She's very relational. So I'm, I, the whole thing was relatively tuned in, like, um, like kind of there was like a relational quality to to it, which is because of that personality type that she has. So, you know, I'm adapting to that. Some people have been more business-like, you know. I had to get kind of business-like at the end, like that's where the fire came in in order to kind of, um, um, kind of make sure she had a clear plan and it was definite and it was going to happen. Uh, but I also did some sort of more water, like empathic listening when I was really like, like genuinely, I don't know what she's going to say, like genuinely, I just want to bring out her best insight by being sort of loving presence, you'd call it in her Hakomi, for example. It's one system of embodied psychotherapy. Um, so that loving presence part is a really big part of this. Um, we used the body, you know, to physically to help her feel the ground. You could also, if it was more air, I could have had her moving her hands or uplifted slightly we used a chair as a way of getting this judgmental downside in. Um, so the main things was I'm, I'm observing myself, I'm regulating myself, I'm observing her, and I'm consciously uh, externally, like with an exercise, or more subtly with my own influence, helping her shift her embodiment to get new ideas, to clarify those ideas, whatever the thing is we need. So that's an example where none of that was planned, none of that was scripted. I haven't seen this person in two months uh, before, 10 minutes ago. And um, yeah, nice example of some embodied coaching. She seemed happy at the end. I um, mean, you know, obviously in a longer session, we'd clarify more things, go more into plans, but actually that's probably enough actually there. I mean, she's nodding right now. Like it's, um, you know, you can get, I'd say with this kind of embodied coaching, you get really quick insights and you can clarify things and get to results, both in terms of in the moment and the plans, much, much quicker. You know, one of my friends from Israel said, um, he was a senior coach for CTI in Israel, so one of the top coaches in Tel Aviv, and he said, I now do in three sessions what I used to do in eight. You know, like it really improved the efficiency. If, if anything, the danger with embodied coaching is so powerful, it just gets straight to things really quickly. You need to be careful with that. Um, but yeah, good example.